<laughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Dave Strider here, and I am going to read a yaoi fanfiction. <laughs> it's called Be Quiet. No, it's not called that. <laughs> Sorry. Cousin's in the background. She's talking too loud. Shh. I'm going to be reading Sleepy Dave Cat. Haven't read it yet, but we're, we're going to read it anyway. Shut up. It's it's okay. They know all about you anyway. Dave absolutely loves when this happens. He was currently in his bed, lying next to Carcat, who was snoozing away peacefully. Carcat doesn't usually get very much sleep, as apparent from the dark bags usually under his eyes. But as of late, he's been sleeping much better and much more often. Carcat was lying on his back, one foot out of the covers and one foot under them, only clothing, clothed in a pair of Dave's red plaid pajama pants. Nice. He almost always slept in a shirt. But sometimes Dave could manage to get him to take it off. Yeah. Like he did every night. Dave took interest in the little ridges on the sides of Clark Hat's torso. And Clark Hat seemed to be interested as well as how smooth human sides were. Got that right. Dave just lay there watching as Carcat chest rose and fell with every breath he took. Steady, calm breaths, slow, even breaths, but frankly, Dave was bored as hell. He turned to face Carcat a bit more directly, and he absent mindedly reached his hand out towards the trolls their shoulder. He set his hand down on it and started drawing little shapes and patterns lightly with his fingertips. I like where this is going. This earned him a twitch and a quiet groan from the other, though he still leaned slightly in Dave's touch. Huh, now Dave had something to do. Dave moved his hand up to right under Carcat's ear. She's my Barbie. And with his fingernail, traced a finger down the side of his neck lightly, making a ladder, like ladder shiver when he reached the base of his neck. He ran it along his collarbone and over his shoulder, again making the alternate boy shiver and groan softly. And using two fingers, he took his fingernails lightly down his arm, making sure to tr troll over, troll over? Trowel over only the inside. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sensitive part of the arm. Carcat squirmed a bit and twitched, Squirm. making Dave let a half-hearted smirk make his way onto his lips. He continued until he reached the inside of the elbow, then just tracing little circles on the sensitive flesh, circling his way down the underside of his arm, down to his wrist. Finally, Carcat pulled his arm away and moved around. Okay, this is getting good. Freaking mouse is worked. Dave pulled his hand back as Carcat shifted around a lot, making himself lie all the way on his stomach, while his head turned to the side, away from Dave with his hand shoved under his pillow, leaving his forearms bare and his back under, uncovered. Dave frowned, he squirmed his way closer, and let his head rest lightly on Carcat's shoulder blade. Rock 
tell. Sorry, I had to answer a question. Where was I? He felt very good to lay on this snuggle up next to... Okay. The human draped his arm across his boyfriend's back comfortably, but bent its but bent it so that he could still have access to his spine. He then slowly traced his fingertips over his spine, making a little circle around each. Okay, this is choking. Sorry. <clears throat> his vertebrae. Then going down to the next. Carcat started to move, but Dave had him pinned down to prevent that. So Carcat could only struggle a little before his body went limp again. In a number of seconds, Dave was thoroughly entertained by this point. So he again resumed his te teasing to the other, making him squirm and wiggle, but He's never squirming. be able to leave Dave's grasp. He also tra trapped the bl blades of his broad shoulders and further down on the small of his back to really make him squirm. Yeah, Clark Hat loves it whenever I do that. <clears throat> Finally, he decided he's, he's let the unconscious troll have his way. So he scooted off him for a bit while Carcat turned to his side so that he was facing Dave. The hand on the bottom was under the pillow still, while his other hand rested on the pillow, close to his face. He had one leg bent more than the other, and he looked like a child curled up like that beside Dave. The blonde boy took this as his opportunity to sh shimmy closer to his lover, but scoot down off the pillow so he could get a good look at his sides. Carpet never liked any human to look at his sides because they all acted like he was an alien from for having something different. Well, apparently he is an alien. He's a troll from a different planet. Well, he was. I'm trying Well, he was an alien to them, but still, Dave reached out his hand and brushed his fingertips along the little ridges and valleys on his side. They were colored and darker shade shade than the rest of his light gray skin, much like scars look on humans' bodies. There were three long marks on each side of his abdomen, as if he had gills. Carcat twitched and moved his arm down to his side to cover the markings. Once he settled down again, Dave slowly, carefully lifted up the, the limp arm and moved it back to where it was earlier. Carcat's eyebrow twitched, but he did nothing. Dave once more ran his finger along the mark on the side, feeling the soft flesh under his finger. Dave, stop being weird. Dave jumped a little, and he looked up to see Carcat's eyes like slightly opened, looking down at him. I was checking out these marks on your side. Yeah, I noticed you can look at them all you want tomorrow. Just let me sleep right now. Carcat mumbled as he tugged very lightly at a stand of Dave's blonde hair. Strand of Dave's blonde hair, sorry. Dave complied and scooted back up onto the pillow until Carcat pulled him over so they could share a pillow. Dave moved closer as they tangled their legs together. Carcat nuzzled his head up under Dave's chin, and Dave pulled the other close to his chest. Barcat heard the strong, steady beating of his boyfriend's heart in his chest. 
the heart that he knew was filled with love for him. Dave enjoyed the feeling of Carcat being so close to him, his raven black hair tickling the bottom of his chin, his warm breath against his chest. It was only a matter of time before Dave sunk into unconsciousness, and Carcat too was out like a light. Lulled, lulled to sleep by the steady heart beat and breath of his boyfriend. That's it. Uh, I wouldn't call this yaoi per se because there was no kissing and there was no no naked bodies. Together. Together. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. <laughs> but I guess it's okay. I like the part where it has me touching Carcat. Ooh, that and trailing my nice. finger on his body, which is totally awesome, by the way. Because uh -huh. his body does feel good. Don't pay attention to them. Just As I was saying, don't pay attention to them. I liked touching Carcat's body. Ew. But there should have been more to the story than them falling asleep. <laughs> but I like the story. I give it an A+. Plus. But not an A plus plus because there was no again. Yeah. naked bodies yeah, and no kissing. But Same still good, easy. still body touching. Mm -hmm. Even though it was just me touching a body and not the other person touching me, but still good. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me reading this oh, Yaoi fan fiction. How she comes here. Uh, if you want me to read another one soon, uh, comment down below. So, for now, goodbye and see you later. Bye, guys.